What's up, old school homies? Let's talk about how people are never satisfied. Yeah, this is one of those concepts that ranges throughout your life because really, I think when you're younger, it's harder to appreciate things. I mean, in ways it's easier, but then since you don't have to work as hard for them, it's also harder um, because you turn into a brat, you know, like you think that everything just gets handed to you on a silver platter. It's not until you have to work for what the, what you have that you realize that you have something that could be lost, you know? And that's one of these concepts that it kind of goes into a lot of areas. And people try to make these comparisons as to how people can't be satisfied and they go, I don't know, into trouble, you know, <laughs> to try to reach satisfaction, you get into trouble. Um, I was just watching somebody's vlog on motorcycles and it's a common thing for men to want to buy a motorcycle in order to kind of get to the next higher ground, whatever we made it up to be faster, more dangerous, more sleek, more aerodynamic. Um, the motorcycle kind of represents a human idea of being more agile and fast and daring or whatever, you know? But the guy was trying to say, you're not going to get any happier buying the motorcycle. I don't know. He, was, he seemed pretty happy riding his motorcycle. I think that guy's full of shit. And that's why I don't think it's really that big of a deal if um, you do chase after some of the things that you want. Go ahead. You, you get there, and then you go, well, this is kind of a big deal. It's not like it is a big deal or it's not a big deal. It's like you satisfied something, you know? You should be satisfied. <laughs> When you did get what you want and then you're not satisfied, now you're a brat. You know what I mean? So to just tell somebody that you're not going to get pleasure out of getting more and more into the higher ground, well, what else are you supposed to do? You know? I heard these concepts from another guy. Let's, let's bring up motorcycles, but in a different way. Not everybody just needs to acquire a motorcycle. There's other people that want to ride it a little bit harder than everybody else. And the guy that I worked with, he blew out his knee riding a little bit too hard. So he became a uh, dirt bike motor builder. So he could build the motors faster than anybody else. And that helped kind of feed his ego. He didn't really have to do anything dangerous. He just had to create power. And then he had this whole wall of people that were basically envying him because that's everybody's dream to go faster than the next guy. So what he ended up dealing with was tons of these guys with a big ego to go faster than another guy. And I got to meet a lot of these people and the pleasure doesn't always rise, you know? You, you try and try, you spend all this money, but the more money you spend, the faster your motor blows up. And the faster you ride it, the more risk of injury that you get. And that was the concept that he brought up to me, was like, I've seen tons and tons of people try to go faster than the next guy, crash, burn, um, start hating on life, taking pills, drinking, doing drugs, because they can't get back up to that same level that they got to. You know what I mean? Like, they they maybe were a great racer for many years. This isn't uncommon that you would have a career in racing that went more than five, six years. There's great motorcycle racers that have been out there for 20, 30 years. But it's not... It's not the usual, you know, like, 